What's up guys? I'm Shadow Ravenous and this is the Irony of Gaming. This uh this video here is gonna be a beginner's guide for those of you who have just started in the game and I wanted and I wanted to create this video here to help you guys succeed on this game. And before I start this off, for those of you that have started all who have started in this game so far, uh for the very first time, welcome to Counterside and Hopefully you enjoy your stay. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is this is this is gonna be um a begin just a little beginner's guide on uh what you should be doing when you first start the game. Um, now I know Counterside has a lot of options, a lot of paths that you can take within the game to help you increase your levels for your units, getting the gear and many different types of stuff and there's many different types of materials that you have to acquire within the game but the question is is you know if you're a new player where do i start how wh wh what do i do in order to in order to make sure that my account is progressing on a healthy pace so this video here is just gonna is gonna uh hopefully help you guys out in making some decisions on what you should be doing and and uh, this will give you a, a nice idea on how to progress your account. So, what you what you would normally do is that when you to start the game, what you will what you would should be doing is always start off with your dailies. Now, this is not now this isn't also something like you can do this in any order. However, the but how in any order that you want, but this is normally the things that you should like you should do because this will help your account sell. So what you would want to do is you would want to do your daily uh, simulations. This will help you get a bunch of gear, like a bunch of like materials that you need to level up your units. What you would do is that you would go into the growth section and these these three fantastic missions over here is what you, will, you would be getting um, each day. Now, these this these are the limit of number of like just two and each day it will replenish itself i believe on the eastern time it should be about either two o'clock uh p.m two o'clock p.m eastern time or 2 30 uh p.m eastern time um and this and basically what this will happen is that this will replenish uh back to two so the thing is, once you have, once you see this here, you want to end up using um, those type. You want to end up using these up. You want to use those up because it's not going to increase or pass two. So what you would do is you would select these, and wherever the highest one, the highest one that you're able to complete. Uh, let's say if you, let's say you did manage, let's say you managed to complete, you managed to complete the ninety or so or or anything lower than that what, whichever one that you're able to complete you then just complete it and then you'll go to skip the mission right here and then you just you just select that and now you'll get the you'll get the items of what you have have there it's very fast very easy um now what you could do too to make things faster is you can go into the favorites section here and you could just click on that right and once you click on that, this should this star right here should light up, right? So what will happen is you can go you can go here towards this little section here with the stars, and basically everything that you any missions that you selected with the stars will go straight to here. It'll go straight to here, and now you can easily just select these types of missions. Now you can just select them just like that and the game will take you to where you want it to go and then you just go to skip battle if you had completed them already and there you go it gives you a nice set of materials here nice set of materials um you definitely want to do this each day because um counterside it, it requires a lot of materials to use but doing this it's like with the, like you could do this without even thinking and you get in, and it'll you'll end up building a whole bunch of stuff like uh, you the, this all this materials here will end up building up so fast before you even know it so it will, yeah so it's nice to do these for your, your your daily simulations now from time to time 
um, you you will come across missions like this in the supplies uh, operation section so where you would go is you go back into the growth uh, go back into the growth section is it uh, no you you go into let's see Ah, you go into the request section. So the request section is um, basically where you get more materials. And you, I would suggest that like if you are starting out, these these missions will do you some justice here. If you if you need specific, um, let's say you need specific uh, high appraisals. Uh, you know, for, for the negotiations and leveling up your units, the high appraisals and the special appraisals. These are, you see, like the regular appraisals here. These appraisals are there to level up your units. And um, the more the more of these that you can get from here, like if you, if you can complete these missions, and see the special appraisals is the highest one here. But the more of these missions that you can get. Uh, get completed with uh, three stars on here you can easily just do the skip mission and you can get like a whole bunch of stuff on here like for example I do like skip eight or whatnot and it'll give me a large portion of of like the appraisals to level up your units here so you don't have to necessarily spend all of your Eternium just for these single things I mean you could if you want to it's up to you you get but it's it's always nice to spend just a little bit of that to help you out in getting the materials that you need. Now, the covert ops, the covert ops is another thing that you could be doing when your account progresses to a high uh to when it becomes a lot more mature in uh in um progressing with all the units and stuff like that. When you reach a certain level, you could what you could do is um in terms of a, like leveling up your gear or changing the stats, you could do these missions here, which um, this could help. This could help you out. The uh, tuning, the tuning binaries, these are pretty good. And uh, start in doing. Um, now the next thing I would say, like when you're doing your dailies and whatnot, the counter pass. Now the counter pass is is another good source of of uh doing certain things now the thing is you do not necessarily need to buy the, the counter pass at all you don't even need to buy it however even even when you don't buy it you can do the free to play section which is right here on the right side and you can see here it gives you a whole bunch of stuff a whole bunch of free stuff that's really awesome it's really good um, it's always nice to do missions for this every day. Like for instance, you could do see they they give you like a set of past missions and stuff, and it's always nice to do these things. Now, the one thing that I would I would definitely uh, let you guys know on this is that I like when you see missions like this where it says deliver the uh, you know the special APT cores, anything anything having to do with delivering like the cores on on counter pass missions I would not recommend you do it is not worth spending that because you can use those materials from the future units that you want so what I would do is that I would I would click on this to reset it and then you'll get something like this which is this is perfect 10 high appraisals which in just, just like a few minutes ago I showed you the uh, the the pre how easy it is to get those appraisals you saw how I got like I just skipped like eight missions and I got like eight special appraisals and then I got like 67 of the high appraisals which was the blue uh, XP items which is we we get a, an abundance of those which is just easy so I could just easily do that boom easy now things like this where it's like five ownerless business cards this is also something that you that you could easily do as well and you just complete them 
now when it comes to the like the perform dispatch missions that's also another good thing right here like on the world map and we're gonna get to that soon um crafting gears you can do those those are pretty good um using 500 info this this is like really awesome stuff that we can do um you see using the eternium this is great stuff too that we can use uh because what you want to do is that you always want to try and finish this this on a daily because this is like a, a daily mission so it will reset uh i think around at two o'clock p.m eastern time or 2 30 p.m eastern time now there is with the weekly missions which you want to complete those weekly missions before sunday arrives because it resets every sunday so you definitely want to uh complete this it's not very hard to do on this one i mean it may take you you know it may take you a few days but you can definitely get it done before sunday you just gotta stay on top of it hell you can even complete possibly complete it in one or two days but it just depends it just depends on how determined you are to like finishing it now every now every sunday um there like each uh every sunday um there's a few items that tend to they tend to reset so we would go into the shops section right so the shop section then we go down to the shops list and then we go to the exchange section now these are really really good stuff to get if you have the credits now what i would recommend is that if you are very low on credits the ones that i would recommend that you get would be would be for the tuning like the tuning binaries the uh the apt cores and even the normal ships if you can if you know anything like the like the a like any of the apt cores definitely a nice thing to get um especially when you're starting out um the thing is the, the thing is too is if you if you don't have if you don't have the credits then the, these will be like you don't have to get everything in the shop the but you could just you know you get what you need but if you do have like an expendable amount of the credits um then you could just easily get them all i wouldn't recommend spending too much like too much on the gems when it comes to like items like these is in my opinion it's it's not worth it and you can save the you can save those gems for something more valuable so you can easily just do that and now what will happen is is that if you have at least 15 gems you can refresh this whole entire thing five times and now when you do that look at this they give you a whole bunch of more of the stuff which you can just easily buy each day this is a this is a daily thing that happens now when you get things like this Sometimes it's good to get these sorts of things um, because it it does add up, you know, it adds up when you're not really thinking about it. It adds up. So we, we can just do that. We reset. You see, it gives you like another set. Like sometimes if you're lucky, you get like five now. And also, too, you, you do get the blue tickets from here, too, if you are lucky. Uh, you definitely could get a whole bunch of stuff here. So I, I so I can just get a whole bunch of things here, reset it. Pretty good stuff. Now, um, now when you get those type of things, that's pretty cool. Um, now for things like this, like the. This was like recently. This recently was added into the shop. This is these are pretty good. These are used for the Shadow Palace, um, but you know that's that that'll be that'll be probably for like another video when we're doing like the Shadow Palaces. But this is this right here will give you extra uh, coordinates and stuff like that to spend when doing the Shadow Palaces, so you get more gear and stuff. Um, Let's see there's now there is another one that you would want to do every week because every sunday this tends to refresh this refresh every sunday so the fusion cores here if you if you have enough if you have enough of the uh black tickets here well not tickets uh the ownerless business cards you can spend you can start spending these cards on here now question is how do you acquire that well 
what you'll do is you'll go into the management section right right here and the management section is where your units where all of your units are stored at your units your ships and your operators and even your trophies but what we want to focus on more is uh, the operators the ships and the units but in this particular case we're going to focus on the units now in order to get these cards all you got to do is just click the trash can that's right there on the bottom right and to make this easier what to make this easier there's a section right here that this is automatically highlighted and what you want to make sure this you want to make sure that this is highlighted where it says exclude growth materials so what it'll do is the game will only take the excess amount of the units that that you do not need so when you have a unit here right let's say uh let's say for for instance um let's use this unit for example this unit here has something called a tactical update so we can click on this now what is a tactical update well a tactical update is something that if you have multiple copies of the same unit like let's say six copies of the same unit you can use this here to um to increase it all the way up to max which will then unlock extra uh you know an extra set of buffs for the character making them just a little bit stronger you don't necessarily need to do this but if you have the extra copies it's like why not you know why not do it so that that's basically what this is so basically when you do that right it's not when you do it like this and you have this active here it's going to it's good it's going to uh it's going to have you select the uh it's going to select the excess amount the, ex the excessive amount of the units that you don't need which is like past six copies so anything more than six copies but let's say what happens if i got all the six copies already well then the game is going to select those other extra units that you don't need and it'll get rid of it for you so right now i have about 72 units that i do not need and right here, I got about 45 of the owner list cards. So we can do that. Oh, and I got like, you know, a little bit of credits here and there. So that's always nice. So, so you got, so you, yeah, so you'll get some owner list cards based off of this. Now, now we'll just go back down here. And yeah, we just, we'll choose the, now the ones that I would recommend that you choose is, you know, it's always nice to get more um more fusion cores it's always a good thing to do it's always nice to get these the fusion core fragments because these um fusion core fragments can be crafted you know it, it could be crafted into the crafting section and, yeah, see, it's always nice to do these here too and that's it now the lifetime contracts you could get it's a monthly thing so this re this one here resets every month so you can get this if you want to um i'll talk about the lifetime contracts later on in another probably another video but uh yeah these these are the ones that you would want to acquire now the thing is since you're starting out you're probably not going to have a lot of um ownerless cards so what i would suggest is that every week it'd be nice to just get this you can just get this one or like this one and you could probably get uh, like this one too i think this was the one the apts i think that's the one where we had like we could spend like 50 of the cards but uh these two could be good every week and then once you once your account uh you know once you level up a lot more with your account and it becomes more robust you can then start spending your cards with, you know, your extra cards on these. Honestly, I wouldn't spend, I would not spend your cards on any of these right here, unless you have like an, like a ridiculous amount of your ownless cards. I mean, it, yeah, the, these could help out, but with everything that the game is offering you, in in terms of like, you know, the like the your daily logins and the count the free counter pass and you know so much more other stuff to do you would get you would naturally get a whole bunch of these easily and you wouldn't necessarily need to spend it on this i would only spend it on the stuff that's like weekly or monthly that re you know that refreshes
Now, going to. 지구가 멸망해도 영업 파는 편의점. 아포칼립스에 어서 오세요. Ah, yes. So, um, for beginners, what I would say is that uh, these are normally pretty good. They're they're pretty good to do. Uh, they they replenish every week. Uh, they give you at least fifty. So it spends like fifty of those. Now, what the game does is. The game tends to give you uh, each day. They give you a free pull, so they give you a free roll on you know on the uh, the general pull. So make sure to always do these every day. Every day that this is available, always do this. Why? Because it gives you plus ten of the task planet points every single day, and you definitely want to make sure that you're doing. And then they'll give you a free Sometimes you can get an SSR out of it, but it's very, it's very rare. But always do these because it's it's very good to to do. Now, in terms of this, you you'll now you're gonna get missions, and it's always nice to uh, to do these. And just by just by playing the game, just doing all types of stuff, you're gonna get a whole bunch of like rewards that the game will give you, which is extra materials, extra XP, just, just to help progress your account more. And then also here, you're gonna get like a few missions here sometimes for like events, or if you're doing like certain stories, it's always nice to, it's always like when there is an event story, it's always nice to do those event stories because Sometimes you'll get missions that are like this that requires you to do like the you know the new events and stuff and you can always do those and you can get a nice set of materials and a nice set of XP uh XP um APT cores, S A P T cores, all that stuff. Now the world map. Now the world map is something that you you always uh, try to do no matter what um, like for instance you can you set these units up and you'll get them you give them mission you give them tasks to do so you select whatever you know whatever units that you like and you can put them here as a manager and then they'll do like tasks for you for a certain amount of time this is like real time by the way so it's like you know you can set them for eight hours five hours all that stuff now what's important is that when they do complete a mission you want to make sure that like the like missions like these you want to make sure that these missions are done and completed already because why 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 you should complete it well if you don't complete it this is what will happen so you'll complete them and you know you'll get a nice set of extra materials which is nice however you see only the ones, only the only the ones that were uh, that were open who didn't currently have a mission, they got a new mission. Now these here, I couldn't get any other extra missions because a mission was already was already here. You see, so always make sure to try try to get this done. Um, if you know if you, if if you're like you know if if no one's actually finishing it up for you and let's say you are capable of finishing this by yourself then go for it however if you're not able to don't worry about it it's not a big deal eventually you'll you'll reach that point where you can defeat it defeat these uh, raid bosses by yourself so it's not not it's not not a really a big deal however when however what's important is you want to make sure that you're always doing missions having your managers do the missions for you and uh you just continue to continue to collect those materials that they get for you this is a randomizing thing so sometimes you'll get some really good stuff and other times you won't like this right here uh this is good for your you know for uh, increasing your character's skills uh skill levels for their kit so we it's always nice to do that now this normally says eight hours but mine, mine says six hours now this is only because 
uh, eventually you're when you're when you get to a high enough level you're able to acquire a bunch of a bunch of facilities that can help uh, that can help lessen the time that it takes for you to complete these missions. So you see, it's always nice to do these types of missions here. See, this this is nice for like the ships and stuff like that. And this is more. This is helps for your skills, for your skills for your units. And you know, it's it's, it's completely up to you. You you know, you choose what you need. Uh, you know, what your account needs and stuff. And just have them do all these missions for you here. But uh yeah, this is um yeah, but the, but these are but these are like the normal thing. Though these are like the you know the stuff that you uh should start doing. Um you know where you can navigate to specific missions and stuff. This this the you could do these in any order that you want. But these are some of the things. These are some of the things that you can do that will definitely help progress your account, help it to push it forward, and and from there i mean there's there, there's many more things that you can do from here but this is but this is just one of the things that you could do that could definitely make things easier for you and it won't be as complicated but uh yeah this will be the end of the video hopefully this uh helped you guys out um you know let me know in the comments if this was helpful if you did find it helpful feel free to leave a like and subscribe and if you didn't find it helpful you can also leave a dislike on there but uh, yeah until next time i'll catch you guys later